What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Sanua's Sacrifice. Hold on. We just um got through a lot of Genjutsu in the last episode, so if you haven't watched that, with the mark of Valraven and the check mark it out. Certain, you may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Valraven, that's how it's spelled, or Valraven. That's how you pronounce it. Anyway, that's what we did. Why is she waiting? Open, open the gate. Open the no, gate. Don't. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. She's, don't. she's done it. You know I can open the gate. It's so dark. It's so dark. It's dark. The dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross into hell. No one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Intense. I want that that's in on mine, right? Oh, and a subconscious. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. 
You ran from it, but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering, worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandon and to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. I see. That was in a... Oh, okay, so that was in a mine just now, that scene. Yeah, that was crazy, boy. If I mean, if you want to smoke, you know, I ain't scared no more. I ain't ready. I is one of them. I is one of them. I is one of them. The gods made you a warrior for a reason. It's your calling. They know they can't see me. They know they can't see me. No man, I gonna give up. I gonna give up. No, I gotta move. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This one coming. Why suffer the past when there is a new world ahead? The only one that makes any sense. These one cuts supposed to be they supposed to put them put them down one shot. This way you wounded though. I get them. Get there boy. I can cut you. No man. I got this. One. I can cut you. I can cut you deep. I can cut you. This plate. It's nearly over. Uh -uh. This one gone. Wait, how much more cuts this way gotta take? Wait. These tools like tanks. All right. Get me in there, man. Get me in there. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Look here. This boy slugged me in my head. Well, my doors. Wait. Wait. Get up. Get up, sweetie. Get up, Samuel. Wait, look how big this dude is, man. What they want me to do? Goodness, wait, this way. Uh -uh, no. Defend yourself. Nobody can. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. She won't make it. Come on, come on. Gather yourself. Let's go. Gather yourself. Gather yourself. Let's go. She can still do it. Yeah, I can. I can fight. Man. See how long it has take for this way to do that. It's hard. He's a tank. He's a tank. Oh my goodness. No. Get up, baby. Get up. Uh uh. I ain't scared. Come on. Come on, man. Heal, heal a little bit, man. Heal a little bit. Heal a little bit. Alright. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ready to fight. Cuts in you quick. Mm -mm. In and out. I can put these cuts in you. I can put these cuts in you. Take him down. Take him down. Get down. I can cut you. I can cut you, boy. Oh my goodness, boy. That 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 grazed me. That grazed me. Uh-uh. I 
wish I could have pushed you off. I can't push you off. I push him off. Wait. I push him off. That's it. You. Behind you. Yeah. Look here. I didn't even see this play. Uh -uh. There we go. There we go. Look here. I can surprise him. I can surprise him. I can surprise him. They send in everybody. They send in everybody. They send in everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't take no more ice like that. I can't take no more ice like that. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Move all the way. Come on, come on. Come on now. Come on now. Gather, gather yourself. Get your barons. Get your barons. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go. I just need to gather myself. That's all. That's it. Oh no. I had the block, that's the only thing I could have did. Oh my goodness, man, this thing. Alright. You finish. As a capable warrior. Capable. Finish. Iso. See this one right there. This one right there. I got this one. Don't worry, bro. I got this one. I got this one. I got this one, man. This one, like, there's only one. Oh my goodness. This one finish. Wait, how much more hits this boy gotta take? Give me some time. Let me catch myself. Let me catch myself. That's it. We finish. He's gone. Finish. Real Viking. They want me to do something else. Where they want me to go. Alright. So I gotta look for these symbols then. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. Alright. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. All right. I trying to figure out Hold on now, something here. Something here. Oh, I must say gotta go back that way. Oh wow. Good. So they gave me a path back this way, that's good. Tell you where this game. Oh my goodness! Thank you, <laughs> Ninja Theory. This is on point. It's an excellent gem. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I end this place right. This axe somewhere here, or is it? 
Like, where does Axe is? Anyway, you know what? Let me let me come back since I'm going upstairs. So the S. So I think something here got a result. Yeah, see, this look like something. That look like something, you know. Yeah, man, one of these gotta be something. I end, the, I end the spot, right? I end the spot, man. You see one there? That's one. Um. Let's, let's go upstairs. Let's go to the second level. Okay, so... Yeah, obviously. And we gotta look for that axe. So I seen some axe marks... Down this way, but I ain't too sure. We can see though. So, okay, so open door. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold, all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize. Half black and half the color of flesh. And her face menacing and grim. That's a good description. Anyhow. Axe. I think that have something to do with this, you know. I wonder if that ain't axe. That, that ain't axe. That look like an axe. That's it, right? Yeah, man. Now, let's get inside this door. Fight, man. Look like a fight about to happen again. Are you ready for that? The gate. Oh, yep. It's opening. Come on, sweetie. Brace yourself. It's coming. Source of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. Wait. I'm sorry. I can't watch this. Get up. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. Get up, man. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Let's go. Cut job. Well, my toes, boy.
stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? So How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. The shadow hates Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Wow, no. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your soul. Do it. Come on. It ain't over yet. <laughs> well, Spike. <laughs> what? Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory. A feeling. Song. It's not real. It's a trick. It's not real. Oh wow. Well oh, she must have just fell on her head. Don't give up. Did it. Did it. It's not like this. It's not real. It's real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in me, Sam? Let's go. You look a little wounded there, boy. Out of old strat. Big wounded. Wow. So there's alternating between inside the mind's thoughts and outside. Internal and external. There it is. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. 
barely functioning. She rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. And the fear must have a little bit now. It's already disappeared. Nothing lives here, not even you. It's in your mind. You think you can see it, but it's in your mind. I wonder. There he was. Where is he? The lone figure of a boy. So we play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. He's there. Oh, when the distance. Look at her young eyes. He moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom right over there. lifted. And for the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. Now, I'm trying to figure out if I got a. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall is built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother in law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Sound rootless. Sound rootless, though. So we gotta. We can't go inside there, right? It's too loud. No, I can't go inside there yet. Can I um? No, no. I gotta find an alternate route or something. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I gotta find one alternate route. And now we can wake like that. So I can't go inside there. I think that's the only other way. If I can make it by that tree, how am I supposed to get over there? Though? They have a different part down this way. Let me check. Let me check this. Yeah, look like look like they want to do a little something. Look like they want to do a little something. All right. So that's my objective. I gotta go to this tree. And I gotta wake it out like that. So we can see what's going on right now. We can see exactly what's happening. Um. Yeah, this, this. <laughs> Oh man, from far, she it's a mental fight. Affecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. It's a trick, it's an illusion. It's not real. <laughs> you want to believe it's real, but it's a trick. <laughs> oh 
Oh my goodness. Let's check this out. Yeah, this definitely inside our head. I wonder what can happen. What's your name? I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you, and... You... learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. Wow. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! That's it. Fight back, sweetie. Dillion? Is that you? I'll find you, my love. I promise. Believe it. Is he's not real. Is he there? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Delia? Nothing lives here. We can see you right now. Survive. <laughs> you met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. Maybe it's a sign. The tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy. And implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. Wait, the these stories. Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. What happened? <laughs> these stories would these be telling. They're Sakiendo. Well, my doors. Wait. 
Okay, now. Let's go. That's uh where exactly this path taking me. This taking me directly up to this tree. You can see right now. We can see right now. I gotta Okay. So that means you need that sword. So I get different trials. Okay. I see it. Let's do one. Let's do one trial. Let's see how let's see how these trials is. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust. And that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? They carried us into the next dimension. Okay. It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Here we go. Right, <laughs> right now. I can't even see in the front of me. Okay, good. Lillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials, like when we first met. Remember? What this is? All right, so you not now. Wait there, I'll find you. Wait, these voices, bro. That's the thing. Find him. How to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He was just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she find him? Yeah, okay. Like, can I open this? Oh, 
Is there another way? That's all I want to know. Something else I have to focus on or something. Because, okay, so this was an open door, right? If I go back here. All right, there we go. I'll find him. Let's check on this side, cause this might be something. Don't touch the walls. You don't know what they might do. What's that? Huh? Did you hear that? Nothing. What's that voices? Man, it stress me out, man. You remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. All right. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. You're getting closer. Keep going. Send him off. Follow the voice. You're nearly I think there. it's this way. <laughs> I use my headphones now just to figure out. He's going to save you. Find the voice. Find him. <gasps> Go this way. Wait, y'all, what y'all dealing with, man? Oh, could I? So I can make sure I ain't tripping. Just the same way, right? Wow, okay. I see. I had to put that light down. What's happening? We going under a rock? See, we get closer. You gotta wake with me, man. What are you searching for? What are you searching for? What am I searching for? Is something here, man? see it I see you there we go Daddy wants me to face my fears there we go
I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Wow. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Jeez. It's done. You did it, but there's more. Keep going. Alright, we can keep going. In the next episode. There's still more. It's not going to be easy.